Hello, in this video I'm going to explain to you what a prefix computation is. This on the right side here is a small cheat sheet referring to the prefix sum. When you check Wikipedia you only find unfortunately the prefix sum instead of the whole computation process. Let's, so let's build this up. We need three things for uh, making a prefix computation. The first thing we need is we need a list of elements. In our case let's use x1, x2, x3 and x4. And let's think of it as, oh, let's mark it like this. Okay, the next thing we need is an operator. Um, operator, for example, we could use operator, for example, we could use plus, we could use, that was a plus again, we could use minus, we can, could divide, we could, uh, we could multiply, we could even use a function like max, as long as it's binary. Let's make it like this. Or we could use a function like min, or we could use, I don't know, the modular operator. In our example, we are now going to use the plus operator because it's just very simple. So we are actually making a prefix sum. So this thing that's also explained on Wikipedia. So next thing, what we need is our, our output already. For each input value, we have an output value. Uh, we call the output values y1 to y4, and y1 is equal to x1. y2 is equal to x1, and because we use plus, plus x2. y3 is equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3. I think you get the idea, and y4 is equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4. Bam! Finished! That's prefix computation. Just to, like, for each result you'll just add another list item. What is the difference to the prefix sum? For example, in, in this case we used the plus operator. I hope you can actually can see the cursor. And for example, let's say we want to use the minus operator, then we would have, instead of a plus, we would have just minus. It's exactly the same, we just would have minus. So it's like we accumulate accumulate the, the values as uh, the f more far down we go. This is kind of equal to if you have a list. Let's say we have a list 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Let's make it commas in the middle. And you want to add all of these. Then you would add 1. Uh, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 5, plus 6. So pretty simple still. And with the prefix computation, you always get like the part sums, like first is this sum that you get, the second sum, uh, the, I'll say, okay, sorry, this is the first sum, this is the second sum, third sum, and so on. I think you get the idea. This is pretty simple, actually. The question is, when would you really use such kind of thing? I cannot come up with a very simple example where, like, a usual person would say, ah, now I understand why I need it. Um, in my case, I used it for the so-called list ranking algorithm. But you have to be careful with the list ranking algorithm. It's like the opposite, um, like the accumulation goes down here, whereas the list ranking uh, is like this shape. Oh, that's not so important, but the, the idea is the same. And that was not finished. List ranking algorithm solved with a parallel algorithm. Or I used it when I studied about the Eulerian trail uh, that is used for in a binary tree when you want to know the depth of each node in a binary tree with a parallel algorithm. Cool. That was a lot of difficult words. Okay, so these are the examples I used it for. And uh, basically the video is already finished, but I want to uh, go on one other way and one other notation that you might find on the internet. And for that, uh, we use a list with just usual numbers. Let's use one, two, three, four, five. Let's say we have our list here, like we just had before. Again, let's say our operator is plus, so we calculating the prefix sum again. And sometimes you find on the internet something like this. This is one, and then you get something like this, two, and this is not two, this is three because we have a plus here and we have a plus here. And have three plus three is six. And the next one, again, plus. So we have 10. And the next one, again, plus. So we have what's that, 15. 
And again, you can say this is uh, equal, this is uh, y1, so it looks like a 2. Uh, y2, y3, y4, y5. And you get this, the more elements you have, you get uh, the, the, the bigger this uh, rectangle, this square is in the end. So I don't say this is easier to understand, or I don't want to tell you uh, a look at this. Um, well, I do. Okay, my point here is, Sometimes you see this on the internet, so if you see this kind of stuff, ah, then you can see, ah, okay, they're talking about the prefix computation. Uh, why? Uh, because you use, for example, let's take this element, and you use the computation from before plus this element. And then you get this huge square over here. But I think, I personally think this stuff here in the top is much easier to understand. Okay. I should stop talking. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave them in the comments. Thank you very much.